Hey guys, welcome back, or welcome if you are new to the channel. My name is Nicole, and today I have a guest, my hubby. Welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How you doing? All right, you guys. So today we are doing a. It's called a mukbang, 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 whatever. I'm we are eating this. with you guys. <laughs> yes. And we're going to be answering some frequently asked questions. If you hear some noise, it's our noisy neighbor upstairs. I think she walks with like steel toe boots on. So you have to excuse her. All right, so we are eating. How you pronounce this, honey? What is it? The brand? I don't know. I'll put a clip name. somewhere up here. I'll put a clip, uh, a picture of it somewhere up here. But this is what it looks like. It's like black bean noodle, right? Yeah, it's black bean noodles. Something I picked up from, uh, I watch a lot of YouTube mukbangs. I believe that's the pronunciation for it. But I watch a lot of them with like a lot of different people. So it's a very popular noodle that I wanted to try. I see you got your chopsticks. I don't know how to use those. Yeah, I became quite uh, chopstick heavy. <laughs> you know. And we also have sushi. I have just a regular, this is just a, yeah, regular California roll. And what do you have? Yours um, look nice and fancy over there. I believe this one is a Cajun roll, and this one is called a Shaggy Dog Roll. I wanted to try this one because it has shrimp tempura in it, so. Shaggy Dog? I didn't even realize. I thought you had. Did, you see me? Look, making a mess. <laughs> right. Anyways. I clean up in here. This is the first time of us trying the noodles out. So if it's not good and we don't finish it throughout the video, y'all know why. All right. So are we going to take a few bites and let them know how it tastes? Or I didn't make a mess before we get into the questions. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to try it out. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. It don't smell too good though. <laughs> yeah, it do. It do got a weird. It smell. smells weird. Let me taste it first. It don't taste good, do it? It ain't got like a good flavor. It's like I don't know. It's like. Don't make me fire me up some pork noodles and we go ahead and come back. <laughs> it's a different taste. I mean, it don't really taste like nothing. It don't. It really don't taste like anything. Like, it don't got no, yeah, it don't got like no taste. It don't have, like, a, right, it don't have a taste to it. I don't see what they enjoy about it. But right. They be like, oh my God, it's so good. Well, maybe we got the wrong one. Because I don't taste anything, but I'm going to eat it because um, we don't waste food around here. No. Nah. And I'm drinking ginger ale. And hubby is drinking, what is that? Uh, a water packet, punch. a tropical punch water packet. But I'm, a, I'm still gonna eat it though. It need like some <sighs> seasoning salt and everything else. I don't like it. And then, yeah. mm, but anywho, ooh, I don't like talking where I eat. I'm like eating, what, talking with food in your mouth. But anyway, we have some questions 
that I get asked a lot. And we are going to answer them. So you ready? Yeah. How is your sushi? Uh, it's always good. Compliments to Kroger. Yes, Kroger has the best sushi. Other than, well, Sushi King is really good. I don't know if you guys have a, is that like a Virginia thing? But there's this restaurant called Sushi King. And it's like a buffet. So you get all you can eat sushi and noodles and like what is like fried rice and yeah you could pick like a uh, different the, entrees the different entrees appetizers different selection of things like you can just keep on going until you get full because there's you can't do to go and it's like 25 dollars a person yeah That's to me it, it, it's worth it though mm-hmm and it's made like fresh there. So that's good. All right. So the first question is how did we meet? How did we meet, honey? It was off Tinder, I believe. Mm hmm. So we met on a dating site called Tinder. I'm sure everyone knows what Tinder is. Um, and it's funny because. I wasn't even supposed to be on Tinder. I was supposed to be on Tango. Like a coworker told me to go on Tango because she had been going like dates like every weekend. So I'm like, where are you meeting these men? And she was like on Tango. So um, I must have forgot what site Miss Lady told me. And I went and I Googled, <laughs> what I said, I Googled dating sites that start with the letter T. And Tinder mm -hmm. popped up. So I'm like, okay, well, that must be it. And yeah, I seen hubby. I did swipe left the first <laughs> I swiped left the first time. But then he just kept popping up. And I'm like, well, dang, I swiped left. So I don't, why your picture kept popping up, Rodney? I swiped left. I, won't, I, was just, I wasn't feeling him at first. But then he just kept, his picture kept popping back up. Like his profile kept popping back up. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to swipe right. So when I swiped right, we matched. And then we started like, what, messaging each other? Mm-hmm. And that was it, right? Yeah. And then the thing we planned our first date was. was How it? long was it? Mm. We were messaging back and forth on the app, but I think the app was like freezing. Like I wasn't getting your messages or something like that. Yeah, so I asked for the number and then I, it was right around your birthday time. Mm -hmm. So we did like this. I don't even know if we, did we go out to eat first? How long did we talk before we met in person though? Was um, it like a couple weeks? We was talking yeah. literally every day. It might, it might have been close to a month, I guess. I want to say. So what? I was just starting. Yeah. We met in January. January. But I think it started in the, the end of December, beginning of December. Um, I'm not too sure. No, I think we we met in <clears throat> January, and then we met in person either the day of my birthday or the day before my birthday. Or the day after. Might have been the day after. Yeah, it was the day after my birthday. Yeah. That's when we met in person at his job. And it was snowing. I had all types of car issues. Like I think my tire went flat. So but I made it to see him. And we have been talking ever since, you know? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she talked my head off the first day and then that's how really it was. Right. So it's been every day. <laughs> But nah, um, yeah, and I think uh, me being the gentleman I am, I think I treated her to a bunch of stuff the first day because I think it was like right around, yeah, it was like a day after the birthday, so I was buying a bunch of stuff, asking, her, hey, hey, you want this or some that. He was trying to um win me over by buying me stuff. So, honey, what, do I break these apart? Yeah, you gotta like pull them apart. And how do I hold it? Oh, 
I think I seen, oh, it's under the thumb and kind of like, <laughs> yeah, you might want to <laughs> stick the fork. Give me a demonstration. Okay, that's on top of this one. Yeah, I think I think I believe it's like this. Hold the thumb like that, like this. Or yeah. And then of, you just that's funny. Oh, that's close enough. I want to stuff this fell out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Good. Next question. <laughs> So we met on Tinder, pretty much. How long have we been married? How long have we been married, oh, Rodney? Let me see if you know. Uh, it'll be four years next year. Mm, no. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been married for three years, and. We like, I don't even know, hold on. <laughs> three years, February, March, April, May, June, July. Three years and six months. We got married February 22nd, 2019. All right, next question. This sushi is good. Yeah. So the next question has to be the most popular question. I get asked this question all the time. Which is, do we want children? Yes, we want children. Of course we want children. Um, we have been actively trying to make children. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, it just hasn't happened yet. So when it happens, it, it'll happen, you know? If it's yeah. meant to happen, it'll happen. But yes, we do want children. You want kids, honey? I don't know, man. I'll be seeing these kids these days, man. I'll be like, yo. But nah. At least, at least, at least one. Mm hmm. It can be boy or girl, it don't really matter. Just 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 one and we'll just go from there if I two or something like that. But yeah. Alright, what's the next question? Next question. How's married life? I'll let you go first, honey. Um a lot of people ask me that. Um Like you so long because <laughs> I'm gonna give an honest answer like I mean it's not I mean everybody got their different ways of how they go into different marriages and stuff like that like I mean it's good if you work with if to me if you not like we don't idolize or look at or compare you know what works for us in our marriage works for us you know so it's kind of like i mean to me it's good like you know it's all every day is you know or, you know you you learn something new or figure stuff out or, yeah it's like what you make it yeah you much. know it's like you know it's great as long as you as long as you can be able to take time out, you know, to do stuff or whatever like that. Like, you know, we do we do date night every night. I mean not every night, I'm sorry. We do date night like once a week, you know, if I'm off, you know, and we, we might do date night or we might even if we don't decide to go nowhere, we might order takeout, watch a movie, you know, we do a thing where we try to go to the movies like once a week or whatever whatever time something new out. You know, we try to do the dinner, the movie thing. I mean, it's all different stuff. Like, I mean, it's new. Like, I tell people all the time, like, man, if you, if you not, if y'all not trying to compare yourself or try to be like a marriage you seen on a TV show or 
reality TV or somebody like that. Like, I mean, then you good. Like, because then you forcing something that, you know, you really don't feel like it's natural and or whatnot. But, I mean, it's good to me, you know. Your answer? Um, married life is, I agree, it's pretty good. It's definitely a lot of hard work though. It's a lot harder than people make it seem. A lot of people make it seem like marriage is just this thing that you do and you just live happily ever after. No. That is not the case. Um, it definitely is a lot of hard work. You have to get used to if you aren't if you weren't already living together you gotta get used to living with that person you have to get used to that person's way of doing things a lot of compromising involved and whatnot i don't like you every day rodney you know but i love him dearly but i just <laughs> every day is not going to be peaches and cream but overall married life is great you guys see we're always outside we always in the streets we go cruising a lot so it's definitely what you make it it definitely is everyone's marriage is not going to be the same just because you know people cross the street have this glorious marriage and whatnot doesn't mean that you're gonna have a glorious marriage especially if you don't take the time to like work on it it definitely it requires like constant work. It's not like this one and done type of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. It's something that you have to like really constantly work on. Yeah. But, but overall, I am enjoying heavy. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, quality time play a lot of factors in it. Like, I ain't the easiest to you know, because sometimes I, I really don't be what I be like, you know, you get out of work, you be lazy, you don't want to do much, but you know, you want to do stuff to kind of like, you know, keep everything good. Like, you know, we take trips, like cruising has been like a big, yeah, a big thing. We you know we was what well, we are. We try to do two cruises a year. So it's like, you know, and that's that's good. Everybody need that vacation time. You know, you visit some different island, you get the tour, you get to do, you know, all that is great. I say that's like a play, you know, take advantage of them vacations, you know. Especially since we are kid free. Right. We are yeah. able to vacation and get out and do a lot of things together yeah. because we don't have children. And even if we did have kids, we probably... Not even probably. We would be doing the same, the same things. I feel, don't you think? No. You don't think no. we'll be? I think we would. I, would. We, I mean, call up. Uh, you can call I mean, up Mimi and um, <laughs> book a trip. I don't know. I probably wouldn't. It'd probably, it'd probably be a different feeling knowing that you got kids at home. Or bring it with you, you know. but it wouldn't be the same. Yeah. All right. What's the next question? The last question is, how are we enjoying the new place? How are we liking the new place? These new, they kind of grown. They still don't taste like nothing, but when you mix it with the sushi. Well, I've seen a lot of them do it. They eat it with other stuff, but. Yeah, because by itself, know. it tastes like absolutely nothing. I ain't too, I ain't, I ain't too fond of it. So you see, they, they see my joint just sitting here. Mm. But, um. I, I I I love it to be honest. Like it was um I had a stutter on it, but yeah, it was good though. Like it's it's very good. I I like it. I mean, my parents come by and they they always like, man, this is us. Like you know, and everything. Like to me, it's like a best of two 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 things. I wouldn't say best of both worlds. It's like I, we we get that. Uh, that deluxe apartment in the sky mixed with the everything is so is so close where we live. It's like you know, I mean, 
restaurants, bars, uh, you got places for breakfast, you got coffee houses, you got, there's always events by the water, which is like, you know, everything is just walking distance. Like you got, uh, there's a lot of different things out there. I mean, so far we didn't, we didn't call it the last few things that really was big, like a lot of festivals and bands and, um, we we walked one day down there, so we know what's down there. It's just us, just you know, just taking time out on free time weekends or something, and just going out there and just enjoying whatever you know restaurant or shoot. I seen the other day they had an art festival. You know, they blocked it off for mm -hmm. that. They do a lot of different things. Um, yeah, I personally love it. Like it's convenient. Like I mean, if I want to actually do like a lot of different things, I can. Just right here, like, even, like, you know, they got, you know, it's the gym. It's, like, they got the clubhouse. Like, if I want to just go shoot pool, invite, you know, the fellas over to shoot pool, boom, you know, it's right there. We ain't got to go. You know, they got a movie theater, game room. I mean, it's all at my disposal. It's just, you know, just going and doing it. But it will, I mean, I'm going to do it. It's just, you know. You know, you just really want to get settled into the apartment more than just, all right, yeah, come on, y'all. Let's, hey, y'all, the fellas come over. Blah, 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 blah. You know, we did a couple, you know, NBA season. You know, we had, you know, people come over. You know, well, I did. You know, we watched the game, had a few beers, some food and stuff like that, you know. But, you So know. you are enjoying living downtown? Yeah. Because we've never really lived down, like, this far downtown, this deep, nah, crazy downtown. No, nah. I mean to point to where we like right there, right and walking distance. Walking yeah. distance is like yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, which you know you did ask me the other day, you know, what I consider staying, you know. So I was like, yeah, like so far, yeah, like I mean, I don't, it ain't you know hitting me over the top of the head. So yeah, I mean, I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Um. Because we've lived in an apartment before. And this right here is completely, completely different than the apartment. Our first apartment together. Completely different, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's completely different. So, I I like it. I like all of the amenities that come with the apartment. Um, the apartment itself is really nice. Um, yeah. So I'm loving living downtown. I do want to get out more and like explore because it's like a whole like um it's like a whole strip downtown with nothing but small businesses like on both sides of the street that I have like never been to. So I do want to like make it my business to like go down there and visit all of the little diners and I've been to two of the bars. Like Roger, yeah. we've been to Roger, Roger Browns, Browns. We've yeah. been to Griss. Um, You've been to the little cute little coffee shop. I've never been to that coffee shop. So I do want to go to the coffee yeah. shop. We literally have a a diner. Would you consider a diner? Like a breakfast? Yeah. Like yeah. bistro type place? Yeah. Literally, we can literally, literally walk out of the door, out of the building and right across the street to this diner. And they have really awesome food. So that's mm -hmm. good. But yeah, yeah, I do want to go down there and explore a little bit more because we've never been to that movie theater. It's a movie theater, literally, yeah, it is, down yeah. the street. It's like, um, it's like a historic movie yeah, theater. Yeah, and that's kind of like, street. and they play like, you know, one one movie twice a day for like a certain period of time. So I think mm -hmm. like right now they might be doing um, that movie we wouldn't go see that we didn't like. Bullet Train. Bullet I think they're yeah. doing that. Um but yeah, it's good. And they they sell food and stuff like that. It's kind of like a cinema cafe kind of vibe. But mm -hmm. We could try that. Um, I know when we went, we went and caught, caught a band. We went to the uh, brewery place that does like um, beer. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't know if that, like the right word is imported, but it's like different names and different flavors. You gotta like compare it to whatever your beer of taste is. Um, but. And that's nice. It's yeah, it will, yeah. on the water. It's like literally right there on the waterfront. Mm hmm And then that's where we get we get seafood from there from a uh, place on the water. Yep. You know, but that's a little expensive though. So that's that's when you want to, you know. It's like real bougie, like. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like real bougie, which is not saying that we bougie, but it's like right up our, right up our alley, you know. I, I I'm not bougie, <laughs> you know. I'm just uh, I'm 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 very. Uh, I'm just saying it's like very luxurious, out, like down here. Yeah. Compared to like further up into Portsmouth, because I know Portsmouth gets like this stigma, but downtown is like where is that and i'm really yeah. enjoying myself like i and really be, am yeah. and to be right there is great because you know when i tell my friends they be like oh man what, what y'all up to today and i'm like like today we was supposed to go downtown to catch the band and i'm like you know you know my cousin like oh man y'all y'all classy y'all fancy, y'all? Yeah, right yeah classy or fancy you know y'all you know i'm like you know but yeah. i mean it's there and it's free you know, it's free entertainment. They yeah. got food down there. They got like a uh, little, what is it, food trucks. And yeah, yeah, different food trucks. They got ice, they do ice cream. They do funnel cakes, snow cones, all that stuff during these, you know, when the bands and stuff play. But I mean, it's right there to take advantage of it, you know. Right. So I think that's all the questions that we have. Hopefully you guys um, learned a little bit more about us. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like. Hopefully it wasn't too long and we weren't just rambling on. Yeah. Um, these noodles is not where it's at. Nah. I would not recommend. Um, maybe you guys know some other noodles <laughs> that we can try. But Kroger Sushi, definitely. Yeah. Definitely get you some Kroger Sushi. But these noodles, no ma'am. But I'm still going to finish it because I spent my money on it, you know. Yeah. You going to yeah. finish them noodles, Rodney? I don't know. My dog didn't stop that. You know what they do? They look very dry. Yeah. So but I don't know. thank you guys for tuning in. You finally got to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with my hubby. You know, you know. So make <laughs> sure y'all uh, click the link below. Get you some melts from Sense by Cole. Oh, uh, yes. Definitely you get know, all your home fragrances. You I'll know, put that in the, down in the description. If, if, if she ain't going to plug the business, I guess I will, <laughs> you know. Always got to throw that out there, you know. And if y'all want to see me doing some things, I think I did a laundry. I might be, you know, jumping in and out of videos, you know. If you want, if you want me, you know, do some laundry or nothing, you know, just. And now they want to see you do some cleaning. There, you know? That's it. That's what they want to see. You they want to see you do some. I cleaning. dabble in a selection of things, you know. It ain't just her out here, but. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Oh,